Hey everyone, it's your boys, the Scampainers here, bringing you another- What is up, my homies? The Big D is back in the game and he is ready for some fucking Scampainers action. Don, seriously? Yeah, Donald, interrupting the intro like that, that's such a Joe thing to do. Like hell it is. If anything, it's more like a bushy boy George thing to do. Okay, you're not wrong there. Facts. But anyways, today we're bringing you all another tier list video. Wait, speaking of, where the hell is George? He's out windows shopping for a new headset because his original one took a massive shit on him during our Lethal League video. And Joe is still working on his special side project, so he won't be joining us either. Sounds like lazy writing, but whatever. Huh? It's been a while since I've done this shit, and I'm just so pumped to get back into it. Okay, well, if you'll let me finish, I was telling our viewers that today we're doing a crumble cookie tier list. Oh, hell yeah. I love that place. Yep. We'll be ranking the cookies from last week's lineup, which would be the week of August 19th through the 24th. Sounds good. Start us off, Obama. Yeah, Barry, this intro's gone on long enough. All right, all right. The first cookie on the list is the classic milk chocolate chip cookie. Mid as hell. Yeah, definitely mid. It's really only good as a fallback option if none of the other cookies in the lineup are floating your boat. So basically, it's the Hillary Clinton of crumble cookies. Okay, seriously, Donald, we're already starting with the shit talking. Hell, this is how I know you're a fucking Republican. Oh, bullshit. That's exactly what you liberals do. Just take a good long look at the fucking comments section on literally any post on Facebook, and without fail, you'll see some pink hair she male vomiting insults while defending their supposed rights to pet. Don't finish that sentence, Donald. Let's try not to get canceled by YouTube, all right? Whatever, just move it along, Barry. All right, so I do agree that the chocolate chip cookie is the epitome of mid, so I'll go ahead and put it in B tier. What's the next cookie? Next up is the waffle cookie. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. This was literally the quintessential S tier cookie. It tastes just like a damn waffle. And the fact they put a little ball of buttery frosting on it, on top of giving you a little cup of syrup to drizzle over it, I'm telling you guys, it is a literal godsend of a cookie, a literal godsend, and it would be absolutely criminal to put it any lower than S tier. C tier. C tier at best. Blasphemy! How fucking dare you? What is your defense for this absolute heresy you've just committed? The cookie's bland as hell, Don. Yeah, I'd rather eat Michelle's cooking. What the fuck, Bill? My wife's cooking is fantastic. Brock, you can't seriously be putting the transcendent waffle cookie into C tier. Donald, this cookie is the reason you're competing with whales for heaviest mammal on Earth. Fuck off, Bill. Why don't you go eat Manchelle's cooking? Change the damn ranking, Obama. Shut the fuck up, fat ass. My list, my rules. You both are uncultured swine. Says the guy who wants to deport every everyone that isn't white. Fuck you! Both of you shut the hell up. The waffle cookie stays in C tier. Moving on. Whatever, this is such bullshit. What's next, Barry? Next up is the chocolate-covered strawberry cookie. And let me just say, while I'm not gonna pull a Donald with this one and immediately say it belongs in S tier, Eat shit. I do think this one is actually good enough to be put in A tier. I don't know, Barry, this cookie's good, but I don't think it's A tier kind of good. I'd say maybe B tier max, not hating on it or anything. I agree with Bill. It's not the most taste bud tickling cookie on the menu. It isn't terrible either. So yeah, I gotta go with B tier also. But I think the only reason Brock likes this cookie so much is because it's supportive of his community. There's a BLM joke in there somewhere, but I can't find it. That joke fell flatter than the earth itself. What? Bill, shut up. What, I thought they'd declass it. Shut the fuck up. Just put it in B tier and move on, Brock. Way ahead of you, Don. Next cookie on the list is the lemon glaze cookie. Easiest S tier of my life. Jesus, literal fucking Christ, Bill. How the hell can you possibly have the audacity to put such a foul fucking piece of shit cookie in S tier? Dude, it's got the perfect balance of sweetness and tang, and you get a free lemon slice on top of it. It's super refreshing, and it is absolutely S tier material. Bill, fucking listen to yourself. You are literally saying that a bullshit lemon cookie beats out something divinely inspired like the S-tier waffle cookie. Um, actually, Donald, last I checked, your precious waffle cookie got put in C-tier, so... Oh my god, I can't fathom why you would even waste a single fucking penny on that steaming pile of dog shit. Like, what the fuck reason could you possibly give me for buying that worthless piss-flavored atrocity? Okay, whatever, Donald. I'm not gonna fucking sit here and try to justify why I bought a goddamn lemon cookie like, holy fuck, dude. Maybe I just like lemon or some shit. L take! All right, all right! While I disagree with Donald's piss-poor attitude on the matter, I do have to agree with him on this one. So I'm putting the lemon cookie in D tier. Sorry, Bill. Hashtag lemon nutty. I think Bill's gonna need some of Joe's dementia pills pretty soon. Shut the hell up, Donald. I'm in much better mental shape than he'll ever be. Clearly not enough to keep your wedding vows. Donald, I swear to fucking God. God damn, that burn went hard. Damn straight. Okay, okay, just move on to the next cookie for fuck's sake. All right, next cookie on the list is the Olivia Rodrigo Guts cookie. Honestly, this one's pretty good. 
I like the fruity center on the top of the cookie. It's got like some kind of jelly in the star-shaped hole that just complements the rest of the cookie so well. I agree. And the fact that it's technically two cookies in one is pretty good bang for your buck. The sprinkles are a nice little touch as well. Really helps it stand out from the rest of the lineup. No cap, I just wasn't super impressed with this cookie. I feel like all that frosting in between the two cookies was a bit too much sugar all at once. Well, yeah, that's why they're called sugar cookies, dipshit. Like what were you expecting, a cardboard cutout of a cookie? He's not used to unhealthy foods. His mommy, Manshell Spoon, feeds him only the healthiest, most organic of meals. Fucking hell, okay, so since I'm clearly losing this debate, what tier do you guys want the Olivia cookie to go in? A tier. Yeah, A tier's good. I would have settled for B tier, but whatever. Last cookie on the list is the banana pudding. The fact that this thing isn't even a cookie is just fucking weird considering the brand name. But I gotta say this cup of brilliance is probably one of the best ideas they've come up with so far. Though I believe the waffle cookie is the god tier selection of this lineup, I'd be lying if I didn't say the banana pudding is just as good as the waffle cookie. Something about this cup of creamy goodness just had my tongue absolutely twerking with joy. Phrasing, Donald. Oh, sorry, my tongue was tweaking with joy. Facts. Oh my god, anyways, this banana pudding, while not being a cookie item, does really hit the spot. In more ways than one, ain't that right, Barry? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Let's face it, you like it because bananas remind you of your husband, Manshell. Big fucking facts. Fucking hell, Donald, stop saying that dog shit on camera. Only if you agree to put the banana pudding in S tier. I was gonna put it there regardless, you dumb fuck. Holy hell, guys, this got pretty damn heated. You guys want to go grab something cold from Sonic? Sounds good to me. Want to wrap this shit up, Barry? Yep, thank you all so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, consider subscribing to our channel to stay updated on what's to come. And there's definitely some big stuff coming. 100% facts. Well, see you all in the next one. And as always, Don. Oh, hell yeah. Peace out, homies.